In this lesson, we'll take a look at modeling a tree using the DP Verger plugin that's available for free for Lightwave. The first thing I'm going to do is move to layer 2, and next I'll draw out a ball, and this is going to m help define the shape of our tree branches. You can see that our grid is set to 2 feet, so I'll make it about 60 feet up. I think that should be good. And on the numeric panel, you can see that we're going to use tessellation. That'll help to shape their ball later. Okay, I'll press space to drop the tool. And I'm going to select it all, and I will copy and paste it, and move it around a little bit, and perhaps a little lower. And I'll use the stretch tool with the H key make it a little bit more ovoid shaped and the Y tool to rotate it a little bit and this is done with the selection type of rotating okay now I'll copy and paste it again and I'll move it up here a little bit and then I'll move it up and maybe I'll scale it down a little bit for this one Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is from underneath, I'm going to select some of the polygons from the middle. Okay, and then I'll use the right square bracket tool to expand the selection a little bit. And press delete. Okay, and now we're all set with these balls. I'm going to move to layer 1 and place layer 2 in the background. Now, by default, the plugin gets installed into Utilities tab and under Plugins and Additional, and it'll be called DP Tree Tool. And you can't see anything yet, but under the Numeric panel, you can click Interactive Tree, and you'll see it already. When you first start it, you might see the options. Let me expand this out a little bit, and you'll see some options for sub D, polygon, whoops, or line mode. Now it'll probably start with line mode, but I like to use the sub D mode because it looks like how it'll look when it's finished. And you can see the branches are really following the shape of those balls. Now, in the, in the options panel, you can change a lot of the things like the number of branches or the number of trunks. If you just want a real simple tree, you can just have one trunk or get some more interesting details with three. Okay, and under the MISC tab, you can change the number of roots that it has. And I'm happy with all the other settings, so I'll just press space to drop the tool. And now we don't need the second layer anymore, so we can turn that off. And so now we're going to make some foliage, uh, some leaves for it. So back under the utilities and additional, I have the DP foliage tool. And you can see it's spreading the leaves out all around the branches. And that's because I've used the branch fineness weight map, which you can see if you look at weight map, weight shade mode, you can see the branch fineness only surrounds the branches. So you can see that it, the leaves are only around the branches. And if you adjust the preview, you can get a better idea of how, how the leaves are going to spread out have just a hundred of them if you have a lower end system or increase it as much as a thousand or more if you want to get a good idea of how it'll look. Now, then below that you can set the final leaves number that'll show how many leaves will actually be created. 
I'm happy with the way it looks right now, so I'm just going to click Make Foliage. And then I'll drop the tool. And you can see where all the leaves are following the branches pretty perfectly. And it creates UV maps for all of the branches. It doesn't look like much, it's basically a square. But then it also creates them for the bark, which it looks a little bit confusing, but it does work. So in the surface editor, you can see all your surfaces are, surfaces are already created for the branch. We'll add a texture to that, set it to UV, and pick the bark UV map. And I already have some images loaded for a bark. And you can see the texture got loaded onto these branches. So these are the same for the, the other types of the uh, branches and trunks. So I can just copy that layer, click Use Texture. Now I can come to the next branches and click Paste and Replace Selected Layers, and Use Texture. And I just repeat the process for the roots and the trunk. Replace selected layers. And replace selected layers. And for the leaves, you can do the same thing. Use the UV map set for the leaves. And load our leaves image. Except here we'll have something else that we'll do a little bit different. We'll use a transparency and repeat that process. But this time we're going to use the leaves alpha image. And make sure the transparency is turned all the way up. And so now our tree should be pretty much finished. Uh, if you switch over to Layout, oops, let's go back and actually send the object to Layout. Uh, first we have to save the object. I'll save it as Test. And now I'll send the object to Layout. And we don't need this Layer 2, so I can just clear that. I'm not seeing our branches. Ah, there they are. The leaves are there. They were just hard to see. <laughs> but so now we've got our VPR on and you can see all of our leaves in position. I zoom in and you can see the leaves look pretty good. And that's it for our tree tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.